The Jen Royster Show is an inspirational hour with a focus on bringing hope to the world with the greatest healing energy known, divine love. Your host, Dr. Jen Royster, is an internationally known intuitive spiritual counselor, energy healer, and visionary that will take you on a journey to explore the metaphysical world of healing within, the angelic realm, guided healing meditations, intuitive reads with callers, and interviews with guests that are making this world a better place. This program is part of the Dream Vision 7 radio network. Hello and welcome to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen, and uh, you're listening to a live Dream Vision 7 radio network broadcast here on 1510 AM Yahoo Sports Radio in Boston. This show is heard every fourth Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and you can also tune into my show on Dream Vision 7 radio network every Thursday at 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. Eastern. To learn more and for a full station broadcast schedule, go to DreamVision7Radio.com and you can see all the different wonderful guests that they have over there. Now, tonight, we're sharing a a very interesting topic that's dear to my heart. Uh, I'm very creative in arts. Those that know me and have been listening to my show, in fact, last week I was painting the intuitive breeds during one of my uh, live air shows, and that was quite interesting. If you didn't catch that, we videotaped it as well, and you can go to my website at jenroyster.com and check it out. It was quite the interesting day we had with that one. And and we're going to be doing more of that, I think. So we were taking radio into a visual with that, and we had a lot of fun with it. Now, tonight we're talking about art again. But I have a guest with me tonight, and I'm very excited to share what he does with you. Now, we're talking about spreading love and joy through art and music. And my guest tonight, his name is Freedom Hartwood, and he is a master wood carver and facilitator of self-awareness. He's in tune and sharing the spontaneous flow of divine harmony. He is a vessel for art from the heart, and he creates, uh, it's to be created through vision and listening. Whatever you can imagine, now think about that, whatever you can imagine he can carve. He has been sharing the presence, like in the I Am Presence, through his various gifts of art, music, and song across the world for years, and complete dedication to living the truth and sharing one vision of spreading love in all of creation. So that's why I wanted to bring him on and share what he's doing, because it's beautiful. Freedom, welcome to the show. Hello, thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, absolutely. Now, it's very interesting. I mean, when we go to your website, we're going to give all that information out during this hour. But let's talk a little bit about, and I have to ask, your your name is beautiful for one, the name you go by. Can you share a little bit about the meaning of this for you? Well, so it's Freedom Heart Song, not Heartwood, and it's all good, but... um, Freedom Art Song, basically, you know, it's not a name that I chose. You know, it's not a name that I was like, oh, that's a cool name. I'll just start going by that. You know, Mm -hmm. and basically, you know, over a period of time and throughout my journey, it just came to me, you know, and I just Mm -hmm. began to receive, you know, messages like, you know, your name is Freedom. And it's like, okay, sure, you know, sounds great. Mm -hmm. But then it just became so strong that, I mean, we all know that when the universe, you know, speaks mightily, you can't ignore. You can kind of, right. you know, listen and be like, all right, for a little while, but eventually you get to a point where it's like, okay, you know, I yes. guess so. You know, my you name is Freedom it. Heart Song, and that's who I yeah. am, you know, and that, and ultimately that's who we all are, you know, because we all are freedom, and we all are the heart song, you know, the universe, the one song, you know, the music mm-hmm. of creation, the fabric of existence, so... See, I like that. I I couldn't wait to ask you that. And my apologies, it's heart song. I was thinking of the wood, so I got a little twisted. So (laughs) it's freedom, heart song, and he is a wood carver. There we go. Now, 
Now, the wood carving, see, as an artist myself, I'm, you know, intrigued with that because I feel so much connection to spirit when I'm at the eagle, when I'm painting. Yeah. So I know you must feel that you just get lost in that. But how did you start with the carving? How did you, how were you drawn to that? Well, I've been, uh, you know, obviously I made art all my life. You know, I've worked with clay at a very young age. I mean, all throughout my life I've, you know, made art. You know, I've made pottery. I've made jewelry. I've made all sorts of things. But about four and a half years ago, um, I was just feeling very called in my spirit to create, like, a large amount of art, you know, just to really... Because I hadn't really done that. I hadn't really sat down and gone into, you know, create mode and just pumped out a bunch of art and self-expression. So I was really mm -hmm. feeling that, and I was visiting my parents in um, Virginia, and I discovered this huge stack of black walnut and Philippine mahogany in my parents' attic that apparently my grandfather had planed years ago. And um, I come from a long line of Swedish carpenters, apparently, on my dad's side, and um Anyway, so I found this wood, all this amazing, beautiful wood, and I was, and I just had a knife at the time, just one knife, and I just looked at it and I was like, well, I guess I should carve this, like I should use this and make something and make art out of this wood that's here, because since there's so much of it it's from my grandfather, you know, I've never carved anything before, but you know, I feel called to carve something, and so I did. I just the first thing I oh, made wow. was. A, you know, was a cross, you know, and then I made a, a heart, and then I carved, a, like, the word love, and then I carved a treble clef, and um, mm -hmm. then I carved, like, phrases like, God is love, you know, and things like that, and basically it just progressed, and I was doing, like, one word pieces, small pieces, you know, maybe eight inches long, whatever, you know, love, mm -hmm. or God is love, and it just progressed, and I got to a point where I was going to do a... um. I was going to do a, a craft show, and well, the person who was hosting it uh, told me this quote. Um, There's one of my favorite quotes, and it's, when the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. And mm -hmm. um, she asked me, well, can you uh, wood burn that into a piece of wood? And I thought about it, and, you know, the wheels started turning, and I was like, well, I, I would carve that. You know, if I was, I wouldn't wood burn that. I would just carve that whole thing. So... I did over the course of a week in order to finish it in time for the show. I spent like 70 hours, I mean, just all day, every day, intensely creating this six foot long by one foot wide piece wow. of uh, solid Philippine mahogany that, you know, I completely carved out the phrase with a knife. Uh, when mm -hmm. the power of love overcomes the love of power, the world will know peace. And that was like the first big piece that I did when I realized, wow, I can actually, I can really actually just make anything, you know, I don't have to you were just, just do channeling. Carving. Yeah. You were just channeling that energy through into the carving. And, exactly. and, and that's, that's beautiful. It's, you know, when it happens to you and I do that at the easel. So I really relate to what you're talking about. It is a, an incredible, exhilarating feeling. And it, I mean, it's just such a wow to me every single time it happens. And, I, and when I look um, at your work, it, uh, folks that are listening, it is so intricate. And I, he has incredible pieces. I mean, um, you have a musical instrument, right? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's really, really beautiful. But now you are, I mean, you're just feeling it and allowing it to flow through. And um, I mean, this is what the energy is coming through. Now, did you ever feel or experience that you were sharing this because this was wood from your grandfather? Did you feel that he was reaching out and sending that love from the other, from where he was? You know, you know, love crosses all boundaries. Yeah, well, I think, you know, it's all related. I mean, I would yeah. obviously the universe was in such perfect harmony that my grandfather planed this wood and never did anything with it in preparation for me to then take it and make and express God through it, right? So wow. it's not, it's, I don't specifically attribute it to my grandfather, I attribute it to the spirit, you know, and the amazing right. inner workings and harmonies that just constantly manifest, you know, when we're, when we're listening. Right. 
Yeah, well, I was more referring to, you know, like the connection, you know, like we're connected to everything. So you would feel right. that connection. Yeah, you would feel him, obviously. And it, it's, it's uh, to me, there is no loss when you, when you can understand it that way, uh, right. which is such a beautiful thing. Now, this has become, this is a very, you know, very connected uh, to the all for you. And you're now sharing that. I mean, you have uh, an organization, Right. Yeah. I mean, what is yeah, that, what is that? A, yeah, yeah. Can you tell us what that is? I mean, this is you have your wood and you're you're doing all these beautiful carvings, and then you have other things that you're doing to spread that love out into the world. Can you share that? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the wood carving is one of my highest expressions. You know, we're all here to be our best and most beautiful, brightest self. And so through the wood carving, you know, it's just one avenue in which to spread the love, you know, to, to awaken mm-hmm. the joy within everyone, to, to share positivity and be our best. So the wood carving is one way in which I do that because every single piece I make is made with the same intention, you know, spread the love mm-hmm. and when people feel it, see it and inspires them or they see something that moves them or brings them joy or whatever. And so I also have... Um, uh, my fiance and I, Sabrina, we f- facilitate this workshop called the Heart Song Experience. And essentially, it's um, realizing the self through interactive musical free expression. So we take, like, Sabrina is, does, runs a 12 week program called Realizing the Self, and she's an amazing, you know, coach. And basically, in the beginning part of the uh, workshop, you know, she'll guide people through the truth of who we are, you know, and what are some limiting self-beliefs and, and what's the reality of, of who we are and what we're made of and how all those things are not the truth and our essence is joy, you know, our true essence is joy and answer questions and just kind of break it down. And then we'll move into a uh, sound healing and meditation. So we'll play, you know, I have all sorts of different instruments. We'll do sound healing and just kind of pour those positive vibes into people and get people really focused on their heart and their true self and their inner peace, however they experience that. And then from that place, we'll have everyone vocally tone together and ohm and everyone just kind of reach that one voice, you know, that one sound Mm -hmm. of harmony where we're all coming together. And then after that, we encourage everyone, you know, I'll pick up my guitar and we'll, people can pick up instruments, but then we'll encourage everyone to just express themselves and sing. So just clap your hands or, you know, shout or sing whatever you want. You know, there's, there's no wrong and just express yourself. And so the whole purpose of the exercise is Mm -hmm. to bypass all the things that, you know, in, in our everyday life tell us, oh, we're not good enough. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I'm, you know, I'm not talented or I'm not worthy of this or, or whatever it may be. Those limiting self-beliefs and those fears in that experience of singing in, a, in front of a group of people, with a group of people that you don't know, you actually mm-hmm. have to completely deconstruct those mental constructs and in order for yourself to sing. And so when you do get to that place of singing and just expressing yourself, you're now experiencing your true self. So that is the heart song experience and another way in which we uh, spread the love. Yeah, I like that because you're helping people to allow themselves to be free from their own restraints in that. And, and I like what I'm hearing about the workshops because that's beautiful because music has such an incredible frequency anyway um, right. that, that it puts out there into the universe. And I think it's one of the – what I think it's one of the – easiest ways for people to learn how to find that connection or to release and find that freedom to be their true self like you're talking about. Um, I love that. I really do. Um, And to not be afraid to do it in front of somebody else like in a group like that. So that's a great exercise. Now, um, now when when we were um, going back and forth setting this interview up, uh, you, you do custom carvings, right? I mean, people yeah, that absolutely. want to express something. So how does that work if someone wanted, you know, something that they wanted expressed? How would they I – mean, can you give an example of that so the listeners sure. can understand that a little bit better? 
Yeah, well, basically, um, right now, um, I have just recently launched this whole new series of carvings that is, uh, it's a spread the love series. So it's based on like three different principles. And the first one is expressing your true self. So, you know, if you could have anything on a necklace, what would it be? And the next one is honoring your reflection. Just give something to someone that you're, you're grateful. You see something in, in someone else that you're grateful for, and you give them a gift that represents that. And the third part mm-hmm. is spread the love, and that's just giving something encouraging, a re- encouraging reminder to someone who could use it, you know, who needs it. And so these custom necklace pendants that I'm doing, um, which I'm just getting absolutely overflowing response to and just that's constant beautiful. orders coming in, um, for these necklace pendants because, you know, I ask people, you know, if you could have anything on a necklace pendant, custom hand-carved necklace pendant, mm-hmm. you know, what would it be? And people are like, oh, well, I would, you know, I would want a, uh, you know, a tree or I would want an elephant, you know, or I'd want the, the flower of life symbol or a lotus flower or whatever. And so it's like, all right, great. And so the, how I'm doing it now is for 20 bucks, including shipping, Whatever you can imagine, I will carve into a necklace pendant by by hand and send it to you, and or so you can give it to your friend or whatever. But so I'm just being the vessel for people to express themselves. And because when you mm-hmm. walk into a store, you know you look around and what they have there. That's your option. But if you go into something with unlimited possibilities, with oh, I can have actually anything I want, then there's there's just no limit to it. So. The necklace right. is the simplest version of that because, you know, way more people have 20 bucks than they, than people have, you know, right. 2000 right? So right. It's, it's but another, that's beautiful because you're giving yeah. them an opportunity to express themselves uh, any way they want to, and then you're, you're carving that into something physical, and now they have something that is reasonable. I mean, for $20, that's a hand carved by the artist with his energy. So that's beautiful. Um, and just about anything. So, I mean, I would imagine you've had all kinds of um, requests for that. What types of things oh gosh, have they been yeah. asking for? What types yeah, of things like have they been asking just, for? Like inspirational words, you know, like believe or unity and images that mean something to some people. You know, some people for an elephant really, you may really resonate with an elephant. For some people, it's the flower of life. You know, for some people, it's a lotus flower. You know, for some people, it's an unk. I mean, there's, there's, mm-hmm. there's some people, it's a lion. I mean, there's, there's just so wow. many. I mean, it's just so diverse. And, I mean, you know, I'm literally taking a a board of wood and cutting it down and shaping it and then by hand carving this image and shaping this piece. You know, I'm not sending these pieces off to China to, you know, be cut out a a million at a time and as blanks. Like, this is all handmade. I'm taking these long pieces of wood and taking a long piece of wood and turning it into, you know, a lotus flower that can hang on a necklace, you know. Wow. So, uh, the whole intention, and the, and the other intention behind it is to get my work, you know, and the love that I have to share to as many people as possible, you know. That's a great way to do it because, and it's also helping them be a part of it too, with their creativity and what they want to express. Exactly. It, which exactly. is what the heart song is about. It's about singing that song of the heart. <laughs> You yeah. know, what is, in, what is in your heart, you know? So I love that. I love that. Now, you know, you, you obviously have that kind of information on which website? Uh, heartsongwoodwork.com. The heartsongwoodwork.com. No, so you could yeah, go check that, that out on that one. No, I, well, I, well, I, I know that. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just speaking <laughs> It's okay. Huh. W, w, huh. Let me re-say it. Let me re-say it because we are in a – I heard a Mercury retrograde was out there, so let's just get the clarity huh. out. It's www.heartsongwoodwork.com. Is that right? That's perfect. <laughs> that was good. That's good. Huh. Well, I know you're listening. I know you're listening. Now, you know, um, that's the best way for people to contact you? Yeah, absolutely. I mean – you know, they can 
they can just go to the website and there's a contact form on there. I mean, that's really the simplest, most streamlined way to to contact me. And as far as the custom necklaces go, and people can just go to my website and click on the store, and then there's uh, the first picture on there is a piece of wood that says your design here on it, and you just click on that, and it gives you the whole description and breakdown of, you know, what what this whole series is about and how you know you can order you can order at the bottom of the page you just go down add to cart however many you want and then check out and um yeah it's it's really simple and the, i have all these you know because it's all about spreading love so i have all these breakdowns you know so if people order five i give them one free you know if people order 10 i give them like two free and so it goes up the more people order i just start giving them all this stuff you know <laughs> because they're they're supporting me so i'm going to send some love right back to them you know that's great. Now, uh, we're we're going to go to break in a minute, but but quickly, um, you have uh, quite a bit that you're doing to spread love. I mean, it's just flowing from your heart. And, I mean, you just want to send it everywhere with the workshops, with your with your art, with your carvings. Um, you have you have bigger pieces over there, too. I mean, you have you had bigger oh, yeah. pieces. Oh, my gosh. You have to go see these pieces over on his site. They're really beautiful. Um, how, I mean, how long have you been carving like this? How many years have you been doing this? How um, long have you been doing I would say uh, about four years. You know, I mean, I carved the first time I ever carved was about four years ago. And now I'm to the point where through the spirit, I mean, I can carve absolutely anything, you know. Big, small, and that's that's, a, that's the point. Yeah, and that's the point. I mean, it wasn't like you went and studied how to carve. You're exactly. just doing it, right? It's just exactly. coming through. Yeah. Yes, and I get that because that's that's how I painted. And you know, trying to explain that sometimes people are like, "Well, can you teach me?" And well, you are doing that actually in those workshops. You're teaching people how to connect and sing from their heart. Exactly, and whatever that looks like. Right, yeah, and correct me if I'm not, I feel like I'm, you know, uh, this is what I'm experiencing with you, just hearing you talk about it and share about it. Um, It's very exciting. Now, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to keep going, and we're going to learn about how freedom is sharing and spreading love all around the world and how you can be a part of that too. You're listening to the Jen Royster Show. I'm Dr. Jen with my guest today, Master Woodcarver Freedom Heart Song. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break. The Dream Vision 7 Radio Network presents Kids for Love. Join Deborah Beauvais and her young co-hosts and celebrate kids making a difference. We invite other kids to join in for spirited conversation filled with creative ideas and possibilities to start your own mission. Let's raise the bar together and cultivate a kinder world by getting inspired to help others in need. Kids for Love Project, celebrating kids that empower others. Callers into the show are in a drawing. It's every first Saturday at 2 p.m. Join us every second Sunday at 7 p.m. for Living on Purpose with Carolyn Romano, where we explore the mysteries, meaning, and sometimes madness of life. Let's figure out together the ways we're meant to serve and become the fullest expressions of our most authentic selves. Let's figure out together how to create lives of balance, abundance, and joy. This program is part of the Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. overwhelmed by other people's energy? Do you constantly suffer with emotional drain, exhaustion, or physical illness? You may be highly sensitive to energy and not aware of your powerful connection to spirit. Dr. Jen Royster is an intuitive spiritual counselor and energy healer that works with the angelic realm and has helped thousands of empathic souls successfully release negative energies, reclaim their personal power, and thrive. Life is to be enjoyed, not just endured. Book your private phone session today at jenroyster.com. Take a journey to a place of the divine love within with Deborah Beauvais on the Love by Intuition show, Saturdays, 2 to 3 p.m., Our message is love in the purest form. 
The Light Within Us All is a guide to recall our beginning, to learn to love self and humankind, to feel the higher power of our own divinity. To attract love, one needs to be love. Saturday, 2 to 3 p.m., all part of the Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. J.T. Lewis is the big brother of Jesse Lewis, who died in Sandy Hook Elementary on December 14, 2012, while saving the lives of nine of his classmates. J.T. found comfort after Rwandan orphan genocide survivors reached out to him from their country to express their condolences and share their personal stories of tragedy and healing. Inspired by the love that was shown to him, J.T. started Newtown Helps Africa, a nonprofit organization that helps young people in Africa and beyond who've suffered personal tragedy and have shown resilience. He successfully sent one young Rwandan woman to college for four years and plans to do much more, all the while inspiring many young people around the world to turn hardship into an opportunity to make the world a better place. Link on to NewtownHelpsRwanda.org. Welcome back. We're back from break. I'm Dr. Jen. If you're just tuning in, you're listening to The Jen Royster Show. And my guest this evening is Freedom Heartsong. And he's here sharing his experience on how he taps in and channels this beautiful love from the heart, how he helps others. And he's a master woodcarver and what he's been doing with wood carving that he did not go and he didn't go to art school, learn how to do this. It just started. And before we went to break, I believe you were talking about that freedom where you started about four years ago. And can you give a little bit about your personal experience with, with, with what love is for you and, and how you feel that you've connected with it and how the art is coming through and, and how you're channeling all this. I mean, it's just really a beautiful story of what you're doing with the carvings. I mean, the carvings are intricate. They are amazing started carving one day and you were sharing a little bit about that earlier but can you can you share that passion and how this is just tapping for you how this is happening for you in that love and how you're putting this out yeah absolutely so you know my very briefly very very short version you know my journey in life has been very condensed you know not that old and, uh, you know, in this in the earthly way. But my life experience has been super packed and very condensed. And over the past four or five years, I've been just traveling all over the world, just having all sorts of interactions with thousands of different people, playing music all day, you know, making art, doing all sorts of things. I mean, I've been to every state in the continental United States, Central America, Africa, just all over the place, just listening mm-hmm. to my heart, listening to the spirit and letting it guide me and letting my true self guide me wherever I need to go. You know, I was going to college for the third time and, you know, five years ago and it was not for me. And I was like, you know, I want to I wanna go to California. I just want to play music all day long. So I did. And from that point, you know, I've just been led all over the place, you know, helping people along the way, just being my highest and best self, you know, to reflect to people, you know, how amazing they are and just sharing that in as many ways as possible. And with the wood carving, you know, how it evolved, I mean, originally all my first pieces that I carved, I mean, I carved huge pieces, too. And I just gave them away, you know, and just because that's what I felt to do. Like, I would carve these things, you know, that would take me a week. Or specifically, it makes me think of when I was in Costa Rica, you know, I found this massive log. And with just a hammer and gouges and a hacksaw, cut it in half, 
and carved the entire log into two separate drums, like African drums, djembe's. Oh, wow. The first first one took me like 90 hours. The second one took me like 60 hours or something. And then I just gave them away. You know, I just gave them to the people they were supposed to go to. And that's, Mm -hmm. you know, kind of the energy that is being put into the art. You know, it's just meant to be shared. So for the longest time, I wasn't even, you know, even generating, I wasn't even selling my pieces at all. Like in the beginning, all I was doing is carving these, you know, amazing spirit inspired works and then just giving them away because that's what I felt to. But as it evolved and evolved and even today has evolved and just very rapidly is, um, you know, this is how I share the love that I have and help people to see how amazing they are and, you know, eat food and sustain life, you know. So, the um yeah the carving has just been quite you know in tandem with my spiritual journey because as i as each piece i carve you know i always learn something because i didn't go to uh, a wood carving school or any of that stuff and it's just something that it's just a gift you know every single time i carve a piece i learn something new about how to carve mm-hmm. or how the wood works or so whatever you know? wow so and, but it's the same thing and, and, as with my life. You know, every any time I have mm-hmm. any experience and every day, you know, we learn something new. So it's just uh, um, co-creating. You know and, was, yeah, you know what I was hearing as you were sharing that? Uh, I mean, you just were naturally giving from your heart when you would carve these pieces and then like the drums. And then you would just give them away. And when you are giving out to the universe without expecting something back, something always does come back from the universe, but it's what you needed. It's what 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 will help you sustain and keep going forward on your journey. So it's not like, okay, give me this. You just allowed it to come in and, I mean, that's what I'm hearing. You just decided, I'm just going to trust that it's going to lead me where I need to be. It's yeah, going absolutely. to guide me along. It's going to provide me what I need to do, what I need to do next, or whatever. I mean, it provided you would to do that, and the and that's a beautiful thing that I'm hearing. And um, you know, I think the world really wants to understand that type of thing to just feel that, and that that is freedom in a beautiful way. Uh, and you were sharing that, and and so you just decided to just go up and move to California. Right. Oh, well, um, well, yeah, I mean, four years, that. four or five years ago. Yeah, I was just wow. I was going to school and I was like, I'm not even moved to California. Just take my backpack and my guitar. And I was like, I'm out of here. I, I want to just play music. I want to see the world. I want to experience life. I want to meet people, you know, and just sing with people. Mm-hmm. And so I did. And many times, you know, I was sleeping outside or I'd sleep on a beach or I'd sleep in someone's house or I'm in an amazing place, mm-hmm. you know, an amazing house or whatever. I mean, I was all over the place. You know, and, it's and a that personal pilgrimage. It's like a pilgrimage yeah, for you. Absolutely. Absolutely. And yeah. so that time now is in in my life is shifting into another phase where, you know, now and you know, I'm in Southern California and we we just got a house here and just kinda now coming into the stage where I no longer am going everywhere to interact with the people, you know, and, and share mm-hmm. with the people. Like, I'm not the one going everywhere. Now, through the, the joys of, you know, the Internet and communication mm-hmm. and all that stuff, now I can be, you know, centrally located in this amazing place, you know, and share what I have to share on a wider range, you know, on a much mm-hmm. broader range because I don't have to travel to New Zealand to share you know, a piece of art with someone who lives there, I can just put it in the mail and send mm-hmm. it to them, you know. And so mm-hmm. that's kind of how that whole experience of traveling all over the place and spreading the love that way and, you know, just sharing positivity and sharing art just everywhere I go and wherever, I, whoever I meet. Now, instead of me having to go all over those places, that experience is, is being transformed into me being at a central place and just kind of broadcasting it out, you know, it's much more, <laughs> yeah. a different way, but much more efficient, you know? Well, yes, that's pretty much what we're doing right now with uh, radio, isn't it? 
<laughs> exactly. There we go. It is literally yeah. happening right now. Yeah, we're we're in the cars all through Boston and then uh, through the station there at Yahoo Sports Radio. And now we are also going to be all over the Internet with the archives later. And, wow, talk about spread the love. That is that's that's a beautiful thing about technology, the things that we can do now. And um, it, yes. And and just listening to how you're just so passionate about living your journey you you just you love your life now you love your life don't you oh absolutely i mean you know Mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean there aren't challenges you know i mean everyone every stage of life is going to experience challenges and things that are very hard you know but the thing Mm -hmm. is is that in those challenges what i've learned and what i've come to see is that ultimately all of the challenging all of the challenging portions of our life are just precursors to the massive blessings that they are cultivating, you know, and the massive Absolutely. transformation and expansion. You know, when we go through something very challenging, we're, when we come out the other end of it, and even during it, we just become this whole new amazing vessel and completely expanded being. And so, yeah, I mean, I, lo- I love life. I'm grateful, you know. I mean, life yeah. is a gift, you know, and it's, it's what we do with it that makes it all the more amazing, you know. Well, you're living your passion now, and you just and you made that choice to do that when you decided, I'm going to take my guitar and I'm going to go do this. And you do a lot with music as well. And, um, and you also have a little bit going on with your fiancé, so we're going to be taking another break here, and when we come back, we're going to share how you can see this beautiful work that Freedom does we're going to learn a little bit more about those workshops you do and what is it sabrina or serena yeah what was her name okay and what what she's doing so we want to share that when we get back um stay with us we're going to take a short break when we come back we're going to let you know how you can go see this incredible love that he is spreading through the world i'm dr jen you're listening to the jen royster show with my guest tonight freedom heart song We'll be right back after the break. Join us every fourth Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern for the Jen Royster Show with your host, Dr. Jen, on a spiritual journey inward where hope and love bring healing to life's greatest challenges. Enjoy metaphysical topics, intuitive angel reads, guided healing meditations, and inspirational interviews. This program is part of the Dream Vision 7 radio network. Join us every second Sunday of the month at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific for the Nurturing Exceptional Children with Dr. Nikki Show, where you'll discover holistic strategies to support children who have learning differences, energetic sensitivities, behavior concerns, and or heightened intuitive abilities. Through our panel of distinguished guests, you'll receive parenting tips, education strategies, and holistic health solutions that will help these magnificent children shine their inner light to the fullest. This show is a proud member of the Dream Vision 7 radio network. The goal of the Jesse Lewis Choose Love Foundation is to cultivate a more peaceful world by creating awareness that we can choose love. By providing tools for our children and communities, we can enable them to develop a healthy level of optimism that leads to resilience. Our mission is to give people the understanding that they can choose love by living a life with gratitude, having the ability to forgive, and to be compassionate. This is a proactive effort towards mental health that will provide children and adults with the perspective and wisdom they need to be able to navigate through life in a happy, fulfilled, and meaningful way. Our website is jessielewischooselove.org. Are you ready to be who your soul wants you to be? Join Lynn McGonagill, the founder of the Lightworkers Healing Method, as she and her amazing guests show you how to move into a life of lasting joy. Miracles happen every second Sunday at 6 p.m. right here on the Dream Vision 7 Radio Network. Hasn't your soul already waited long enough? Tune in 
every first Sunday at 6 p.m. for maximum success. The Coach Brew Show. You'll learn success strategies to take your game to the next level from performance consultant John Brubaker. Maximum Success explores why winners win and teaches you the keys to peak performance. This program is part of the Dream Vision 7 radio network. Join the Mind Health Coach with Leah Marie every fourth Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Come explore with us natural and healthy ways to achieve inner peace, happiness, and an ever-present state of well-being. You're already healed. You just haven't realized it yet. When you're ready, you can change your mind and change your life forever. The power of a beautiful life is within you today. Mind Health Coach with Leah Marie is part of the Dream Vision 7 radio network. Are you overwhelmed by other people's energy? Do you constantly suffer with emotional drain, exhaustion, or physical illness? You may be highly sensitive to energy and not aware of your powerful connection to spirit. Dr. Jen Royster is an intuitive spiritual counselor and energy healer that works with the angelic realm and has helped thousands of empathic souls successfully release negative energies, reclaim their personal power, and thrive. Life is to be enjoyed, not just endured. Book your private phone session today at jenroyster.com. We are back. I'm Dr. Jen, and you're listening to The Jen Royster Show. If you are just tuning in with us, and we have been sharing and spreading love and joy throughout the world with my guest tonight, Freedom Heart Song. And it has been such an enjoyable experience just listening to him express his passion and how he's living it, how he actually chose just to follow his path and follow his heart. Now, we want to make sure you know how to find him out there if you want to check out his incredible work and about the workshops and about what your fiance is doing as well. So can you share a little bit about all of that? How can we find yeah. you out there? Yeah, absolutely. The, um, as I shared earlier, the best way to um, to contact me is just go to heartsongwoodwork.com and either you know, contact and just fill in the form and send me an email. And you can also contact me through the theheartsong.org. So either one of those is fine. Um, I mean, that's just the simplest, easiest way for people to contact me for sure. And then, uh, yeah, so Brina's work, as I was sharing earlier, she runs this 12-week program called Realizing the Self and, and a number of other programs. And she basically helps people bypass their limiting self-beliefs and live in the truth of who they are. And um, her website's under construction right now, but her old one, I'm pretty sure, is still active. Is um, the letter E and the letter Q Coaching. dot C A, and the new website is um, Sabrina Civitella. dot com. C I V I T E L L A. And uh, yes, anyone out there is you know going through a lot of stuff and feeling limited, feeling overwhelmed or whatever, not feeling that who they are is enough and not feeling that they're being their best self. I mean, she's an amazing guide in self-realization and, you know, be a great person Mm -hmm. to get in touch with. And she offers a free consultation so you can kind of get to know the work and see if it's right for you. But yeah, so you can contact her that way and contact me through either of those websites and you can see what we're doing, the heart song experience. You know, we just kind of got settled out here. So over the next few months, we're intending to kind of set up a retreat, something like that. So, all that information oh, wow. will all that information will be available on theheartsong.org, and both of the websites okay. are interlinked. So, if you go to heartsongwoodwork.com and you just click on Freedom, um, then down at the bottom is a link to uh, theheartsong.org. Mm-hmm. So, and you also on you also on Facebook. I saw that too. Yep. There was a yep. Facebook page, right? Yeah, they both, they're face. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, No, it's okay. I think it was the Heart Song Experience or something like that is what I found. Yeah, well, um, 
if you just go to facebook.com slash um, the heart tongue experience, there's that page. And then you can go to facebook.com slash heart song woodwork, and there's that page. And so, you know, it's contact me through Facebook, whatever, you know, whatever. Is yeah, there you go. See, he's out there, all connected to the connections. <laughs> we're all out there. We're all interconnected on the connectedness. <laughs> we're, we're, we're connected. Yes, we're connected. <laughs> And uh, and if you're looking and, and uh, you know, we'll have all of this. So if you're missing some of all this, in, we're putting a lot of information out there on, on different websites and, and different things that you can do. Um, wow, I'm hearing something out there. Uh, you, can, you can go to my um, website if you missed it or if you need to listen to this again when there's an archive available because we will have the archive up. And then also over on Dream Vision 7, Radio Network, uh, the Thursdays at 10 a.m., 10 p.m., you, you can listen to this show and you can catch that. Um, we have all kinds of stuff out there, and we have all kinds of ways for you to share. You can arc it. You can listen to this. Um, now, I had a question about the workshops, and yes. I'm not sure. Um, I heard something about that you had um, it was. Let me just ask because I think I missed it. Um, how long are the workshops? I mean, if um, when you do a well, workshop, it's a weekend or. Well, well, the workshops that we've done have been three hours, so it's a three-hour okay. workshop, and goes through all the stages that I described earlier. But you know okay. what we're really um, wanting to do is do like a three-day retreat and incorporate you know every aspect of wellness and wholeness and spirituality and right. self and into that. So that's kind of like the um, wider vision, you know, because just right. have a retreat of like 100 people, you know, 50 people, 20 mm-hmm. people, 500 people, whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's, but the that's ultimate, an incredible retreat to put together because that's a lot of emotional baggage people can release and find their oh, way. And, and there's the support. There's the support of everybody else there. And and you guys that are um, leading it, but you've got the support of everybody else is there doing the same thing. Exactly, exactly. And it's um, you know, it's all just to experience our true nature of joy. You know, it's all just mm-hmm. to ex- have that experience of our true self, and then live in that, and just live in our highest and best um, expression all the time. So. It's, whether it's a three-hour workshop or a three-day retreat, you know, the intention is the same, that when you leave there, you know, you've experienced something within yourself that you see how, how valuable it is and how necessary it is in order to, you know, really live life. And then you go out and live your heart song, whether that's, you know, through being a mm-hmm. chef or being a, you know, custodian or being a painter or being whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, because everybody that's has right. their own expression. So, and the wide vision on that, too, is, you know, like thousands and thousands of people, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, all people of the earth coming together in that same energy and just singing and expressing themselves and enjoying life and just experiencing that true liberation and freedom. So that's the intention and that's what we're doing. So you can look for, um, you know, a retreat sometime in the next few months coming up. Next few months, well, let me know when they're out there. Absolutely. Let us know when. Let us know when you got it up because that's um, that's a gr- that's a beautiful thing you're doing, both of you, um, or everybody that is involved with it. Um, and I feel like you are really on the tip of the iceberg. It's going to really grow and expand for you um, because when you are putting something out there that has such a beautiful vibe and that feels good. I mean, the world. It, it's refreshing right now. We've got plenty of that other stuff out there that affects us yeah. in a negative way. And we, you know, putting something out there positively for people, how refreshing can that be? I mean, who wouldn't want, who wouldn't want a fresh drink of water like that? And, and that's what it, it feels like to me, just listening to you share and express about your passions and about what you guys are doing. So I want to say thank you for putting that out into the world and for spreading that love and joy out there. Thank you for doing that. Oh, yeah, thank you. You know, you're doing the same thing. Like, through, through I, I am. I, you know? 
I, I love what I do, too, because that's what I want to do is I want to be – I work with Archangel Gabriel, the communicating angel, <laughs> and we're yeah. about communicating it out there, and we really want – we want to spread it out there. We want to get – get the information out and, and help educate people. So thank you for that. Uh, guys, go check this out. I mean, he really has some incredible things out there, unbelievable stuff, um, and it's just so intricate. You would never think that this is somebody that never, you know, went and formally trained in this. Um, it's really beautiful, and he spends a lot of time on it. He just he just dives in, and he, he goes there, and he expresses it. He has those beautiful pendants now that you can express yourself, um, and you can go to his website and check that out. Now, for all of those that are new to this show or you want to learn a little bit more about what I'm doing, um, I'm an intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, energy healer. I'm very much about the energy healing. Uh, you can check out my website at jenroyster.com. We always list the upcoming shows, we have the archives, and uh, we have a newsletter that we put out the upcoming shows on, which is a great newsletter. That one's really growing. We put everything out there, but when you sign up or subscribe to that newsletter, you're going to have a free video class on how you can connect with your intuitive spirit guides. I have that out there, and I also have several, and these seem to be growing and getting up quite popular, um, you can go over and download free guided meditations, and we have all different types. So go check that out. It's a lot of free gifts over there for you. And I have all of the shows for the radio and all the connections, the contacts. If you're looking for that particular guest, like tonight we had Freedom, if you're looking for some of the information, I have all of that in the postings under the show. And so it's all there. We've made it as easy as possible. Go find me on Facebook. I'm already connected with Har Freedom over there. And uh, we're on Twitter, Jen Royster. We're on Facebook. We're everywhere. I'm out there for you. <laughs> I'm out there trying to help you guys find what you're looking for. And, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because when we connected Freedom, you didn't know I was in your hometown, did you? No, it's it's amazing. I mean, was that was so, that crazy or what? <laughs> yeah, but not not really that surprising, you know. Like nothing, nothing like, really oh, shocks me anymore. <laughs> I know. I thought, how cool is that? What a beautiful connection. And um, you know, he's he's just out there. And you know, if you if you want to know what love is, it is just just let yourself be true to yourself, really, and. Do you have one last thing that you would like to share before we go off the air? We have about a minute. What What would you like to share with the listening audience before we leave? Oh, man, I would just say that um, I really appreciate everyone listening, and I appreciate their lives, and I love them very much, and I fully encourage them to be their highest expression of who they are, no matter what that looks like or what challenges they may have to go through in order to achieve that, but it'll be worth it. And, the you know, the joy is in the journey. And just spread the love. You know, spread it everywhere you go, everyone you meet. Shine your light. That's be your beautiful. best. Pass it on, right? I love yeah. it. I love it. And I'm going to send you a energetic hug right now for oh, coming on and sharing this. That's what I get. I, you'll feel it. You get the goosies, you know. But uh, oh. and we're going to send it. And we're, you know, we're going to do it together right now. We're getting ready to go off the air. We're sending one out to you, the listeners. And thank you so much for listening with us. Um, come check us out, and we'll see you here again next time on the Jen Royster Show. Namaste. You've been listening to The Jen Royster Show, part of the Dream Vision 7 radio network. Join us every fourth Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern for a spiritual journey inward where hope and love bring healing to life's greatest challenges. Learn more about Dr. Jen and pick up your free meditation gifts at jenroyster.com.